We've got Steph LeBlanc here, and Steph, we're finding out what your pregame ritual is. That's what everybody wants to know on Twitter. So what's yours? Yeah, so I don't have a whole lot of them, but one of the things that uh, my roommate Garrett and I do um, once we wake up from our from our afternoon nap is we like to put on uh, a YouTube video of the uh, Rocky IV uh, workout montage. Uh, little hearts on fire and uh, you know we like to lie in bed listen to that and then that kind of pumps us up to get ready and uh, get to the rink. So you lie in bed and listen to a song together? Yeah it's they're separate beds but yeah that's essentially the, the deal. And do you guys do like a yeah let's do this? Well, no, because it's the video, you kind of get a little bit of the uh, the dialect going on during the Rocky montage, and there's this part um, where it's he screams, no pain. So Garrett likes to come in at that point of the video and say, no pain, no pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. He says it every single game, so it's pretty funny. I love it, and he's player of the month for February, so he's got no pain, no oh, pain. Well deserved, and you know, it must be the video. I, I don't see what other reason he would have that. We've got Patty Merrill here, and Patty, the Twitterverse, wants to know what your pregame rituals are. Well, I do have a lot of them, and uh, I'm very superstitious, so uh, I don't want to disclose all of them because then that would make them unlucky. Um, but a couple of them, some old ones that I had, uh, I once got a gift from Pat Campbell, uh, a slap chop after a good game. You're going to love my nuts. Watch this. Almonds, walnuts. And uh, because it was a good game, I kept it in my bag for the rest of the season. And we actually went on to win the championship in 2011. So uh, it, it, it actually, we, I got some funny looks through security and stuff like that uh, with my bag. But uh, I guess that's one to mention. All right, this is making you cry and making me cry. All right, life's hard enough as it is. You don't want to cry anymore. It's actually very functional. I, it's because I was into healthy food at the time. So Pat thought I could chop up some nice vegetables and, and fruits and stuff. But after the season was over and it was in my bag for that amount of time, I, I decided to let it go. This thing, this tuna, looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. All right. Thanks, Patty. Thanks. We hit terminus!